Noches, noches buenas. My mother is Jewish, family from Lithuania and Latvia, although she was born in Montreal. And my dad is um, Cree Soto on, one, on his father's side and on his mother's side, Romanian and Scottish. I talk a lot about being myself, but that is one of my biggest fears, being myself and not being accepted for it. Like I said, I'm such a mix of things that I never quite know what I am or not. Although I'm all of those things, I'm not one of them only. And I'm constantly working on eliminating the fear, not the respect towards the culture, but the fear of um, being conceived as misusing the culture. Because I'm, I'm not. I grew up with these things. They're in my bones. They are part of me. And with all respect, I sing and I dance them all. Hi, I'm Tamari Lana, and I'm getting in deep. So I was born in Toronto, right here. I grew up at Bloor and Bathurst. My mother's an ethnomusicologist, and I grew up accompanying her on fieldwork trips a lot, like I said, to the villages of, of Spain and Portugal and throughout the Mediterranean. It was only child, single mother, so it was just the two of us a lot of the time. And uh, just, I helped her recording, I helped her interview people, and uh, skipping a lot of school and taking a lot of homework with me. Everyone said I was, you'll appreciate it when you grow up, when you're older. And I was always like, no, I'll never appreciate this. I'm going to be normal when I'm older. I'm going to have a nine to five job. But you know what? The prophecy became true and, and I do appreciate everything now. Yeah, I remember when I was seven and I was at Harbor Front actually. And that's when I did see Esmeralda dance. And I remember that and I remember wanting to do that and that's what started me on my flamenco career and opened thousands of doors since then. As a young girl, flamenco attracted me, I guess, for everything that it attracts me now, which is its, its passion, its fire, um, just the movement, the beauty of it. It's fierce, but soft. You can express every emotion through it, good, bad, happy, sad, angry, doesn't matter. Whatever you're feeling in the second, in the minute, in the day, you can give to flamenco and it will receive it and, and give back life. Primarily my specialty is flamenco and that's what I'm most trained in and, and probably perform the most, both singing and dance. And I also grew up singing Sephardic music, which is the music of the Jews who were expelled from Spain, 1492, and uh, traveled to the Balkans, Greece, Turkey, uh, Morocco primarily, and so songs from those regions in the language of the Sephardic Jews, which is Ladino, which is kind of an archaic Spanish, which has mixed um, with each of the languages of each of those countries. <laughs> So the first piece we're going to do is called Primavera and it's about spring. So it's about the winter never ending and wanting spring to arrive. Categories I fit into are many, yet none. So it's hard to um, be accepted sometimes, really in the core of those communities. Yes, I know flamenco, I've been doing it my whole life. It feels like me. But if I go to Spain, they might say, yeah, but you're not born here. And that's been said to me before. Yeah, but you're not born here, so you'll never sing flamenco like here. And at first I would try and try and try 
to sing it like there, and now I've stopped trying. I mean, I still try, I learn, I learn from the best, I immerse myself, I do all of those things with great respect. But in the end, I, I just bring everything else that I know into it and mix it and really make it my own because there's no point in trying to be something I will never be except for myself. The influence of Toronto and Canada is, I think, fantastic because I've traveled a lot and it's rare, very rare, that you find such a place as this where people are open, really open, to mixing their traditions and fusing them, learning new traditions, and not holding on to it so tight that they're scared to share it with others because it might be changed. Here I find that people want to change it. They want to give everything they have, learn everything they can, and see what they can create. And it's just the most beautiful thing, and I really haven't found it anywhere else like I found it here. A lo que me acuerdo soy yo Qué mala memoria tiene primo Music to me is it's my life it's the way that I can speak to others from anywhere around the world and this is a very cliché thing to say, that music is an international language, but I think it's cliché because it's true. And when you sit down with somebody, you don't have to speak. You can just play and sing. It's a, really a dialogue, and that's what I love about it. Shut